guys, welcome. This is Elizabeth. I felt like playing some interrogation, you'll be deceived. So we're gonna pick up. Um, we've been talking to kind of crazy people. Well, not all of them are crazy, but there have been some wild characters. Um, and they're all involved in like this kind of terrorist organization. So let's pick up. Jennifer's this great job, boss. Now that we have Adams and poor Noak, we should get to grilling them. Which one of us do you want a Noak? Uh, we'll send him. He seems intimidating. I don't know why they're upset about it. And on Gabriel Adams, Jennifer seems the next most intimidating. <laughs> okay. I want another HR report. Ordered a detailed evaluation from the Burstellar Morrison Company of how key stakeholders currently view the task force as led by you. I don't want to give him a bonus this time. I think we gave him bonuses last time. We'll do PR assistance. Maybe that. Ooh, that looks fun. It says award a bonus for the honorable past service of the senior officer you'll be approaching on the consult senior officer mission. He only has a 40%. Uh, okay, let's wait to do that. He just does not have many good chances of doing anything, does he? Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just do that. I don't know. We had him do by the book, like, last week. Or then. Okay, Jennifer. Countless hours of grilling atoms, and I have nothing. Mordecai, well, I bring good news. It was a long questioning, but I've managed to gather an extensive list of descriptions and partial names for Noak. Each is a potential hit or a dud. We have to start digging into this list. There's a full name here, Helene Kufos. I'll see if I can track her down. Okay, says greetings. Or, they say greetings. In light of some of the recent developments, it occurred to me that there was a personal aspect best disclosed for the record. It has to do with my background. I wanted you to know that during college, I was part of a group that subscribed to an dot 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 anti-authority political outlook. Evidently, I hold none of those views today. Um, well, that's just kind of mean, and then that's a little too harsh. Maybe we just do that. No, technically not. It's in the past. Let's just say we'll leave it at that. Let's focus on the task at hand. Very well. Okay, yep, he did not pass. <laughs> they refused our assistance. <laughs> okay, we're still like in the middle. The press really likes us. Uh, and our authorities, they're not happy with us. Okay. Moderate, low low. Great. And we have a day of infamy. We thought we were safe. It's about explosion. Okay. The explosion that happened earlier. Okay, Kufos is extremely shady. She had been asking plenty of questions about the final bomb site, both online and offline, even visits to the site for thinly veiled reasons. Clients of her yoga studio reported that she tried to interest them in an organization which wanted to make a new world. We have a strong suspicion about who she might be on the chat room, even though it's gone quite quiet. So I think we have a slam dunk liberation front member in our grasp. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Well, I've already sent a squad to bring her in. She seems absent from the regular locations for a few hours now. So it might be a while, but I have other good news. Kufos has had a lot of contact with one Cassandra Higgs. Meetings, money transfers, contact between the two spiked significantly before the attacks. So while we look for Kufos, I'll grab Morty and try to find Higgs. Okay. This constant sending of agents to look for civil forfeiture opportunities is looking suspicious, detective. Uh, it'll look terrible if the public or press catches wind of it and frames it as an asset grab. Not to mention some of the assets seized were lifted from friends of the mayor. 
I'll just say fine. I'll try and be more careful by doing civil forfeitures. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's okay. I thought we were just gonna say I'll bet, try to be more careful, but that's awful. Oh, I don't like any of these. This song's more sarcastic to me, so we'll <laughs> he's too happy. Oh my gosh. Mayor Patel wanted me to congratulate you on the community outreach your department has been doing. It's an initiative like yours that give the police department and all of us a good name. Uh, there's no better expression of gratitude than a budget boost, my friend. We'll see how we can help then. We have a situation, Jen called. She and Mordecai found Higgs. From the little they got by talking to her, they identified a very suspicious friend with her too, one Lucas Romano. He seemed extremely nervous talking to the police, and when the two sus suspects had a window, they bolted. There was a chase. The two of them, <sighs> who seemed to be armed, have holed up in an arbitrary establishment, a veterinary office. They have hostages, too, it seems. They are making demands. We have a line in. We'll put you on a call with them. I've lined up the case files. Morty is bringing you the perp's boyfriend urgently, one Amatis Garcia. If you obtain the release of hostages or one of the perps, it'll take a while, but we'll bring them right in for question for you to question. Interesting. So we're just doing like a phone call with them. Okay. That seems a little too patronizing. Maybe this last one. What you're doing is making the Liberation Front look weak. Let's resolve this. There's a slight hint of hesitation in the feminine voice. You don't care about the Liberation Front. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've been exactly seven minutes to... You have exactly seven minutes to clear the street in front of this place. Land a piloted helicopter in front of it with half a million unmarked bills inside. I'm putting this crap on a stopwatch so don't mess with me. It turns out people die. Tick tock. <laughs> she is a... Horrible potty mouth. Oh my gosh. Cassandra, this is not like you. Wait, Cassandra. Do we meet a Cassandra? I can't remember. Let's say, why is the Liberation Front worth what you're doing, Cassandra? There's a snort. <gasps> what do you know about the front? Okay, I'm worried she's not going to respond well if we just be like, this isn't what the front stands for. Let's say I know full well what the Liberation Front stands for. They huff. Do you now? It stands for the complete personal freedom that is natural among humans. That sounds like some capitalist apologist rhetoric. No, you don't get it at all. Honestly, all of those sounded the same to me, but... Or at least kind of the same. This is not in line with the Front's objectives. Their voice rises. What would you know about it? Whatever your objective, this just makes you look like the bad guys. They speak in disdain. Yeah, well, we don't want to be liked. We want to change the world. She sounds like a grumpy teen. <laughs> it's not what the front believes in. They answer in a low voice. You have no idea what we believe in, copper. Hiding behind civilians undermines their message of courageous revolution. There's a brief pause and a sigh before they answer. Uh, screw off, get me my chopper. There's a better way to do this, Cassandra. They laugh. A really stupid bee, never thought about it. Okay, let's say the Liberation Front will see you as a liability after a stunt like this. There's a worried tremble in the voice. Screw you, get me my chopper. Okay. Please put Mr. Romano in the font. There's a growled response. No. Do you need anything in there? Need? Need what? I told you what I need already. Anything you need transmitted to your families? Thanks, but leave our families out of this. Oh, okay. Uh, this is her boyfriend. Say so thank you for coming, Mr. Garcia. I'm afraid Miss Higgs is in a very dangerous situation. They seem worried. I'll, uh, they told me what was going on before I came in. I'll try my best to help. 
How much did you know about her dealings with the Liberation Front? They shrug and shake their head. I had no idea. I knew she was into politics and all that, but nothing like this. His hair is wild. Like, the higher it is, the closer to heaven, I guess. <laughs> um, did you, you notice her spending time with anyone suspicious? They shrug. She had a lot of these extremist friends. Stalinist, communists, and Antifa dudes, that sort. That just seems weird. Um, kind of controlling. And you didn't think it would be a question of time before they used her for their cause? They sigh. Maybe I should have been considering that. Yeah. She had extreme political views. She labels herself a rev revolutionary. They nod and smile slightly. Yeah, absolutely. But that fire for justice is part of what I fell in love with, you know? Oh, she's in, like, crazy town. <laughs> You couldn't have known that she'd be willing to hurt innocence for her views. They nod and sigh. I'm still not sure that she is. Ah. Did you and her ever talk about the front? They think for a second and nod. Now that you mention it, she said she thought their outrage was justified. But she said that sort of thing a lot. I didn't make much of it. She's in there with a Lucas Romano, probably signed to her by the front. Know him? The sign looked down. I don't. I know her, though. I assume she kept me away from all this to protect me. Okay, I think we gotta... We gotta make him mad about the boyfriend. How's the relationship going between you and Cassandra? They seem saddened and reluctant. Good, I thought. Did she seem content? She can't have been too emotionally available if she had some kind of terrorist coordination to do behind your back. They sigh, looking down. I, I guess not. I guess she wasn't really there and that I missed it. So how do you feel about all this? They stay with a shrug, followed by a sigh. Well, hurt? I mean, so much was hidden from me. Were you two happy together? They nod and shake their head in confusion. Very much so. Which is what makes this whole situation even more shocking. Are you involved with the Liberation Front? They frown. Huh? No. Why would I be if here if I was? Maybe the Liberation Front forced you. They shake their head with a sigh. Um, no, that's absurd. But maybe that's what they did to Cassandra. Hmm. Okay, I have someone here with me, Cassandra. There's no immediate response. I have Amadis here with me. They snap angrily. Screw you, Scuzzball. How dare you try to use him against me? I think I really think you'd like to know what Amadis has to say. They grumble, annoyed. Trying to use him against me like this, it's crap. He has something he wants me to tell you. They huff. Push. Fine. He's very hurt that you kept so much of your real life from him. Tell him I'm sorry, but I had to do this. He's very worried about you. They sign frustration. Yeah, well... Okay. Mm. Let's talk some more about her dealings with the Liberation Front. They nod. Okay, but I already told you that I didn't know much about that. Can you try to remember more specifically which suspicious and real she spent time with? Sorry, I can't remember anyone in particular. Do you know anything else about her extreme political views? No, not much. We didn't discuss politics that much. Uh, let's talk about your relationship. Uh, so how do you feel about all this? Well, her Okay, we already asked that. Okay, I know he has nothing to do with this, but you do have to realize your actions affect him. Fine, go ahead. He really is very worried about you. Stop repeating the obvious. Okay. Okay, it says you need to pick a negotiation strategy. Make Cassandra trust you or immediate intimidate and scare her into giving up. Negotiate for more time when possible. Mm, Cassandra, this is not like you. Oh, and what am I like? You volunteer to help girls in marginalized communities, not to put guns to those communities' heads. The voice softens to a growl. You made a lift of <laughs> Jared. You're just carrying out orders in this scheme. You were never supposed to have any responsibility in their plan. They snap angrily. F you, I'm not some pawn. So why is the Liberation Front worth what you're doing? They're snort. What do you know about the Front? They say in an irritated tone, stop with the capitalist apologist rhetoric. You don't get it at all. So you need to get her to trust us more. Do you need anything in there? No, I don't. Okay. I'll ask you again. Please put Mr. Romano on the phone. Let's talk about her dealings at the front. They nod. Okay, but I told you already that I didn't know much about that. Do 
trying to remember, did you and her ever talk about the front? They state clearly, I told you already, she did mention a few times that she thought their outrage was justified, but nothing more than that. Okay, uh, you don't know anything. It's not what they believe in. Okay, we know what they believe in. You know there's a better way to do this. It's all about blah blah blah. We need more time to get you what you want, Cassandra. What do you need more time for? We're having trouble convincing a pilot to give themselves up as a hostage. There's a sigh and an explanation. Look, tell him they'll be fine. I'm, it, I have nothing against the guy. He'll be going home after I'm dropped off. You get three more minutes. Explain it to them. Okay, great. Uh, I'm worried that if we do this too soon that she's gonna not respond well. Cassandra, this is not like you. Please tell me more about who I am. Okay, maybe we do need to do this. I need you to release the hostages, Cassandra. These people are the only thing preventing you from murdering me. How are the hostages doing in there? There's an audible resentment in the voice. They're fine and dandy, and they will remain so as long as you get me my demands on time. I don't think that's going to go over well, so that didn't even go over well. I need you to turn yourselves in. I need a fair system for human beings, but it's sometimes tough to get what we want. Okay, I'm between like one of these two. Like this one's just reality, like I mean, that's pretty harsh. It's like you're not gonna get what you want. And it might turn out well, but I don't know. Um I think we have to go with this. The chopper's probably not coming, Cassandra. Staying in there longer just worsens your case while advancing it in no way. They seem closed off. Good try, but I'm not buying it. So I'll change the system, Cassandra. Oh, but this is where the change begins, because in the corrupt consumer system you, you've built, the revolution will, in fact, be televised. Oh, we need more time to get you want. Why do you need more time for this? We're having trouble reaching a judge to prove all this. Tough. If you don't get all of this stuff, people will die because of your system. Well, they'll die because you killed them. Let's talk about your relationship. You said she wasn't very emotionally available. As I said, I guess not. I guess she wasn't really there, and then I missed it. I understand the two of you are happy together. Now I'm shake their head in confusion. Yes, very much. That's why I'm so shocked. I know this is a difficult time. Your relationship is also important to Cassandra and thus to me. Have you made up your mind? Where do you see it going from now on? They seem to be barely holding back tears. I, I do love her, and so I'll have her back. All right. Someone here with me, Cassandra, let's talk about your boyfriend. He wants you to know that he'll be there for you. He just wants you to get out of there alive. They're holding back a sob. I, uh, t tell him I'm trying. Cassandra won't give up the ho both the hostages, but perhaps you can convince her to give us one now. Okay. I need you to release the hostages. You need to give us at least one of the hostages, Cassandra. Tab soon reports that the released hostage is being brought to you. Fine, fine. I'm sending out the girl. I'm keeping the guy. Clock still ticking. Okay, it says Sylvia will arrive soon. Make sure you don't scare her and see if she can give us anything we can use against Cassandra. Is the hostage still okay? How is he doing in there? There's an audible resentment in her in the voice. He's fine, dandy, and he'll remain so as long as you fulfill my demands on time. She wants you to know she'll try her best to get out of the place alive. They sigh, trembling slightly. Thank you. Please help her. I mean, I'm trying my best, dude. It's her choice. Uh, I'm not sure we could do that. We need more time to get you what you want. She didn't like... We already used that. She didn't like it when we said anything about the system. Having trouble getting a chopper from another city? Ours is bro broken. They yell in loud anger. Don't mess with me like that, you lying dirtbag. There was one flying overhead ten minutes ago. Well. Cassandra, this is not leaky. Please don't be worried about who I am. I need you to turn yourselves in. And I need a fair system for human beings, but sometimes tough... It's, but sometimes it's tough to get what we want. We've got nothing in there, Cassandra. Turn in. They sound worried. Lucas and I still have this guy. At least send out Mr. Romano. They seem determined. No. Uh, let's talk about... Oh my gosh. 
We need the other one to come in. I don't know what to do. Make sure you don't scare her and see if she can give us anything we use against Cassandra. Where's Sylvia? She's looking for an angle to ma manipulate me. No, this is not what the front believes in. They wreck angrily. I am the liberation front, and I know what we believe in. Told you there's a better way to do this. Speaking a loud voice. Yeah, it involves you getting me my money, my chopper, and getting out of my face. Okay, well, at least now she's here. Are you okay? Her voice seems distant. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Thank you for asking. Um, I don't think that's gonna help. She's probably like traumatized. Oh my gosh, that's so dark. What was going on in there? They just looked down, shaking, and I'd be able to speak. Dot, dot, dot. Anything we can help with? Okay, I'm glad you're alive. The people in there are committed terrorists ready to kill for the cause. They look back and then nod almost imperceptibly. Oh. I hope the officers that brought you here also contacted your family. They smile nervously. Yes, they did. Thank you very much. Did they say why they were doing all this? They just looked down, shaking, and unable to speak. Oh my gosh. The people in there are just beside kids, manipulated at ideologues. They are went way over their heads. Their eyes go wide and they tear up. I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're getting through to these people that held you. I think we can reason with them. They nod nervously. Oh, okay, good. I hope so. Did they say why they were doing all this? They exhale and they speak up. No, no, they didn't. I I'd like to know, though. Why? Why are they doing this? I have Sylvia here with me. There's a very soft sigh. She wants to know why you did this to her, why you're doing this to Benny. They keep a steady tone. Well, it's so that the next generation lives better so that the world is forced to change. Why did Sylvia and her colleague deserve what you did to them? They were already victims of the current system, at least this way they can be made a part of the solution. That is crazy. Very abusive. Isn't that exactly how fascists justify their abuses? They groan in frustration. No, 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 that's an entirely false equivalence. Except it isn't. <laughs> Systems react quite violently when existential threats to their power structures emerge. I don't know if that's going to help anything, but... The voice is shaky, which is actually, which is exactly why we need to fight harder and stay strong. The doctor says she'll be fine. Cool. Good. So what should I tell Sylvia? Why did you do this to her and Benny? They keep a steady tone. As I said, it's so that the next generation lives better so that the world is forced to change. Okay. Any more time to get you what you want. Okay, yeah, she won't give us any more. Need to release the hostage. Only way this man's coming out is when I get my chopper. Okay, we need more information for Sylvia. We're running out of time. What was going on in there? They tighten the blanket and struggle to speak. That they seemed agitated, scared. The woman seems to be in charge. So they weren't mean, just just sort of nervous. Okay, Cassandra seems to be in charge. Persuade her, intimidate her to send Lucas Romano, her accomplice, out. Hmm. Someone in here with me? The young lady held gunmate. She told us what's been going on in there. Good for her. Good for you. Okay, I think we gotta be tough. It's enough to call the SWAT teams in on you, even if you kill the hostage. Their voice is shaky. Y you're that dirty that you'd sacrifice this man? As I said, she told us what's been going on in there. There's just in for- okay, whatever. Oh, I forgot the one about- okay, please put him on the phone. Why, you bored of me already? No. Sandra, blah 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 blah. You should just turn yourselves in. At least send him out. Tab soon reports that Lucas Ramona has been released and arrested. He is being brought to you. Fine, last thing I'm giving you. He comes out, my chopper lands, do it. Great, Lucas Romano's coming out, wait for him to arrive, then see if you can get anything from him we could use against Cassandra. We need more time. I don't know if we're gonna be able to 
do it. I think telling her her colleague is good as dead is not gonna help anything. I need you to release hostage. No. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Do you need anything in there? Sanders. Uh, it's not what they believe in. I'm the liberation front. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, we have to try and get more time, but I don't think we can. There's loudly yelling. Listen, explain to those corrupt pieces of crap that if they want to at least pretend they give crap about their citizens, they need to get this effing cash uh, now. <laughs> three more minutes, do it, or blood's on your hands, and there's... Oh, she gave us three minutes. Cool. Let's talk more about her dealings at the front. I don't know much about that. Did she and her ever talk about it? The state clearly told you she had mentioned a few times that she thought their outrage was justified, but nothing more than that. I don't think we're getting anything else out of him. Anyone can help with. They matter looking away. I just help Benji, Benny. Benjamin. His name is Benjamin Pillay. He's a good man, not the brightest, but he volunteers as a soccer coach for an underprivileged kids and all that. Oh, I bet we can use that. You need to release the hostage. Someone with me, Cassandra, the young lady, held a gunpoint. She wants you to know the other hostage's name is Benjamin Pillay. Benny, and then he volunteers as a soccer coach. They speak in a softer tone. Well, let's not get Benny's blood on my hands or ears and just bring me that helicopter and my money. I think we already asked her this, and she told us why. I don't know. They still speak up. No, they didn't. I'd like to know why, though. Why Why are they doing this? Just go with that, I guess. They look down. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a bad option. Oh, well, at least we have another person here. Have we met him before, too? Because, like, we just have these options to say this is not like you, but I don't even know if we've met these people before. You need to tell Cassandra to give up. They lean back and run their hand through their hair. Man, all Cassandra needs to do is sit her butt tight over there until you send her that helicopter and stop giving her crap. Do the people in there deserve to be made to suffer like that? They shrug and look away. They're just the poor pawns of capitalist oligarchy. That's what happens to willing pawns. Sylvia wants to know why you did this to her and Benny. They sigh. Hey, I'm sorry for what happened to these people on a personal level, but we're fighting a bigger, a system bigger than them. A system that has even that in a complete thrall. This, what's so aggravating about this is they're willing to sacrifice other lives, but not theirs. And that's... I don't know, that bothers me a lot. I mean, you sh this is dumb or stupid any which way you look at it, but... It's kind of hypocritical. I don't know how to describe it. The woman in the other room, Sylvia, she just got married recently. The hostage still inside is Benny Pillay, a volunteer soccer coach. And what? Is that supposed to sock me up or what? Why don't we Cassandra put you on the phone when we ask? They seem hesitant and look down. You were asking for me? No idea. Oh, okay. So, she didn't trust you to talk to us. You were a liability to her. They shrug. I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking. Did you agree to her being released? They shrug and look away. Well, it was more Cass Cass's call, really. Was the Liberation Front worth what you've done? Yeah. It's a tragedy. I couldn't do more. See, I don't know if he's crazy enough that he's gonna be like, Well, good. Like... Cassandra doesn't give up. She was dying for the liberation front very soon. They snap at you angrily. Good, good. You psychotic murdering pieces of crap. System will do anything to keep its capital based dominance. Kill anyone. I know it. She knows it. And she could fight. And she should fight to the end. You need to employ all emotional leverage you have on Cassandra. Stick her to either scaring her or making her trust you. We're really close to getting her to trust us, I think. I need you to turn yourself in. You got nothing in there. Turn in. I, I still have my ha hostage. Cassandra, it's over. They speak in a tired tone. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm coming out. Don't, uh, don't come me down. I don't know how we did that the first time. And with like a minute and 40 seconds left. That was hard. <laughs> hostage taker surrenders. Interrogation successful. Higgs and Romano detained. No victims. Woohoo, guys. Woohoo. Okay, two individuals, Cassandra Higgs and Lucas Romano, suspected of being linked with the terrorist bombings per perpetrated by the group known as the Liberation Front, today attempted to evade capture and initiated a hostage situation. The Truth and Order Special Unit was tasked with negotiating a safe release as well as the surrender of the two suspects. An intervention squad was ready to rescue the hostages in event of an unsuccessful negotiation, or the Special Unit already had deep insights in the background of the perpetrators. 
I think we should go down. The suspects, which are young students, are known radicals, have no past criminal record. I think we'll just go with young students. Demanded large sums of money as well as the means to exit the country. Both of them admitted their allegiance to the Liberation Front during the negotiations and claimed their actions were motivated by radical ideology. The hostages... were severely psychologically traumatized by the suspects and were eventually released and are now under close medical supervision. Cassandra Higgs and Lucas Romano have now have been incarcerated and are currently being held for further questioning. We strongly believe this development will allow us to prevent future plots, maybe. We ask anyone that might have information pertaining to the investigation to bring it to the attention of the authorities. Things are finally looking up. Between Ennis, Wilson, Wilson's testimony, Adams, the details from Novak, and now Higgs and Romano, we've gathered lots of insights and are finally getting the critical mass to tie more of the leads together. We're going to get cracking on proving the cases as many of these suspects are beginning to look like clear-cut Liberation Front members. Great. Get to pick another memory. Oh, we got a lot this time. And Staple Genius. You're not all there, but parts, <laughs> but the parts that are all away usually come back with brilliant ideas. It's been statistically shown that sociopaths do not have greater intelligence. Listen to numbers for they sing the truth. I don't understand what this, I'm like, does this mean we get different options and we lose other options in like speaking dialogues? Okay, good host. You can treat your interrogation subjects really well when you want to. Check the bottom drawer during interrogations. Have a drink. Unwind. Nerves of steel, your psyche holds up well when faced with traumatic events. I am an instrument, no more guilty from actions than a scalpel. All aboard. You've come to learn a controversial enhanced interrogation technique. Waterboarding gives the subject the distinct sensation of drowning without major damage to the lungs. That's awful. Max brutality. You're very, very good at being rough. I can make you see your other eyeball. I kinda wanna go with good host. Okay, let's get another HR report. We had quite a bit of money. Let's give them bonuses, and let's avoid doing that because um, apparently that's <laughs> making us look bad. Let's take them out because they had like pretty low morale. He doesn't have a great chance at doing it. She has a better chance. What was her chance on that? 60. Okay, we'll, we'll switch them. I don't know. I don't even know if it makes a difference. Let's do therapy. It's always a good choice, right? Man, he's just... Or they... Hmm. I'll just have them do by the book, I guess. Mayor Patel has kindly asked that you speak to another reporter, and Chief Anderson has signed off on it too. This is Patricia Becker, perhaps the city's most respected journalist. Good day, officer. Tristan, you're too kind. And I just want to assure you, officer, that this interview will be fair and open. Happy to Miss Becker this way. The recent attacks have taken a great toll on the community. What is your message to those that have lost loved ones in the explosion? that we will not rest until all these criminals are put behind bars. Clearly. The authorities seem to always be one step behind the front. Who do you blame for that? I think we need to be positive. I don't think it's going to help to just, like, bring down morale and, like, confidence in us. We have discovered many other plots to neutralize many of their members. We are getting closer to ending them once and for all. Are you now? The front seems to be well-funded and coordinated. Who do you expect is supporting them? I suspect that they've been plotting in secret for a long time on a national level. We've talked to many front members. How would you describe them? <sighs> Most of them are just misguided or have been manipulated. The leaders here are the true devils. What do you think attracts these people to the front? I believe the front echoes their own ideology or beliefs in a way no other cause does. We've successfully handled the hostage negotiation. Does this mean the Liberation Front is willing to negotiate? Okay, I 
think this. Individual members might, but I doubt their leaders are willing to accept anything but a total victory. Worrisome. We still haven't received any public demands. What is the front after? Okay, well, that's not... I don't think that's it. And I think we do have an idea. It's probably closer to this. They're anarchists rejecting any authority or government. Protesters have argued that your imprisonment of priest Gabriel Adams is just the government finding scapegoats to hide its inability to stop the front. Comments? Priest or not, evil can hide anywhere. He is guilty and that is all we should look at. All we should look at. Why has the press not been allowed to talk with convicted, convicted Liberation Front members? Because they are imprisoned, charged with terrorism. These are dangerous people. Let's not forget that. Hard to forget. Do you believe this movement is a national, even global one? Absolutely, this is what makes them dangerous. Do you agree with those saying that the authorities should be allowed to use enhanced interrogation techniques? No, we must maintain our principles. Finally, what would you say to those that sympathize with the front's message? Okay, your anger is justified, but history has proven that violence is never a right answer. Noted. Thank you. If I may briefly interrupt you with a social matter. The team is partaking in socializing at Hannigan's tonight. Would you like to join us? Sure, I'll see you there. Later that night. Mary Patel's just way too hot. She has to be the kiss. I'm confident in picking her for Mary. So you're killing Damascus Reed? Why not Mary instead into all that stride with millionaire money? Oh, I'm sure he remains in the kill category. Boss, you go, and since we're doing people in high places, kiss, Mary, kill, Chief Anderson, Patricia Becker with the heraldic. Nice. And Tristan, that guy from City Hall. Who's it gonna be? I'll kiss Tristan. He's a fit gentleman. I'll improve our press coverage and unfortunately kill the chief by elimination of the other options. Oh, that bigger table has cleared. Let's move over. I don't think I just seem super happy with that, but I don't know. We have narrowed down a list of four perps that are virtually certain Liberation Front members. The evidence is overwhelming. Benna Weiss, then Anton Drasco, Linda Bailey, and Helene Kufos. Each one of the last three is linked to one of the attempted bombings. The prosecutors agreed we can book them on the face value of the evidence alone, so get ready to question. All right. Oh, they all succeeded. Joseph Ward has agreed to come in and speak with you. The chief called in to say that they appreciated the balanced books we keep. Convinced she has accepted to start working with us. Great. Our popularity fell. The press really approves of us. Oh, wait, no, our popularity rose, because I think it was here. That has always been in the middle, I don't know. And it's, that's still where it was before. Oh, very low. Gosh. Man, okay. Who is the Liberation Front? The intelligence services seem incapable of finding the answers. And perhaps most importantly, what will the next attack be? Which kind of sucks. This is our new informer, Rachel Ezra. Hi. She has some relevant secondhand intel about the front for us. I'll leave you to it. Coffee? Water? No, I'm good. Let's just get this over with quick, please. She did take coffee, though, and a donut. <laughs> it's just on the table, or that's an ashtray. I don't know. She kind of looks like Vanessa Hudgens. What can you report on, Miss Ezra? They cross their arms. Well, my boyfriend, uh, I'm pretty sure he's involved with the Urn Liberation Front. What is that? Is that a police car? Very well, go on. They rub their hands together. Well, like, ask me, what's his name? They look down. I I'd rather not make this about him. He hasn't done anything wrong himself. I can respect that we're after the front, after all, not after him. They nod. Thank you. How was he recruited? They shrug. I'm not sure about that. How can you be sure he's with the front? I found all sorts of materials around the house, like propaganda and stuff, and other small clues. Um, has he involved, been involved in any of the attacks? They ask worriedly. No, I'm sure he hasn't, but I wanted to ask. If I think he might be about to in the future, what do I do? You listen to your conscience. 
They smile briefly and nod. Okay. How do they organize? They shrug and explain. There's this weird chat room he's on, something to do with pets. We don't have any pets, so I think maybe there. We already knew that. Where do they meet? They explain. Um, there's this place, Cafe Freaky. It's not his style in any way. He wouldn't be caught dead in such a hipster hangout, so I assume he goes there to talk to the other Liberation Front people. Interesting. Any names you can give us? No names, but I can tell you that they seem to work in sets of two. There's this guy who my boyfriend gave an ob obviously fake name that he often meets. I've overheard him talking about their gatherings as pod meetings. Other sets of two seem to have them too. Okay, so like with Cassandra and um, Romano, they were a set of two. Oh, I think we got everything. We're done here for now. Thank you. We'll stay in touch. Okay, I will. But I hope my boyfriend drops this before we have to talk again. Me too. Chief, someone's here to see you. This is Joseph Ward. More than two decades ago, he led a team sort of like ours against the Burgundy Riots. Greetings. Meeting room's ready for you. Mr. Ward, uh... That's a little rude. I don't know if he's gonna want us to suck up to him. Maybe, like, good you're here, have some quick questions. They look straight into your eyes, then I'll give you some quick answers. I asked you here because I need to understand what we're dealing with. They tap their fingers on the table. You're dealing with people, greeny. Or, yeah, greeny. Hard not to crack, but why me? I don't know if he's gonna actually know how they think, but we could try. You've dealt with these sorts of people before you know how they think. They shake their head. I don't believe the people I locked up have much in common with the ones that have been giving you so much trouble lately. Oh. What are your thoughts on the Liberation Front? They smile. I think it's just that. A front. A nice cover under which someone does their work. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Most of the suspects I've spoken with have been man manipulated into helping the Front. They nod. Cut the head off the snake. All the others will calm down. Tell me about the Burgundy Riots operation you held. They sigh deeply. There was a lot of anger in those times. People just couldn't sit and talk anymore. Everyone was so divided. What was their motivation at the time? They explained in a low voice. At first, they were angry at the government, but soon things spiraled out of control and groups with all kinds of extreme political agendas got involved. How did you approach the situation? They look at the ceiling for a while. We had to differentiate between regular protesters and extremists. We didn't let the terrorists blend in with the crowds or manipulate their anger. Okay. Differentiate between regular protesters and extremists. How did you catch the leadership? They answered in a calm tone. When we uncovered what they were planning, we used that information to convince their underlings to rat them out. Most of them didn't want anything to do with actual terrorism. Okay. And what do you think we should focus our efforts? They smile. Explosives, weapons, the front didn't just build all these networks. They are working with established criminals. And these criminals don't have loyalty to any ideology. I would like you to join my team. They shake their head. I've been very happy in retirement, away from all the stress. <laughs> Let's go for that. They shake their head. You ran me around, detective. I'm tired. I've paid my dues. I just want to rest. Oh. They nod. Ha, maybe you're good at your job. After all, sign me up. We did it. Woohoo. They nod. Okay, boss, show me around. I wonder if they still have my old gun. I mean, like, probably not. Why would they? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe they do. Cool. Now we have four people. <laughs> Despite his retirement. Let's go with that. Welcome, Joseph. It's great to have some reinforcements. Your resume is quite impressive. Your contributions may be invaluable. Thank you kindly for having me. It's daunting yet thrilling to be back. Only Benoist they couldn't get yet. We're sure he's hiding with his uncle out of state, so it might be a while. But the other three are, are in. Full-time mom Linda Bailey seemed to have handled our security guard, Wilson. We're going to talk to, like, a Karen. Anton Drasco, porn producer, seemed to have provided the explosives for Father Gabriel. 
who made this game just came up with some wild characters, and Helene Kufos, a yoga instructor, was in very close contact with our hostage taker, Cassandra Higgs. Helene is a deaf mute, so we brought in an interpreter for you. I don't think that's politically correct anymore. Tabs prepared you the case files on them. They're all set to go in the interrogation rooms. Crazy thing is, they didn't even fight it. They've already confessed to being with the front. All three. So the stakes here are whether you can extract from them the next move the Liberation Front will make. Go get them. Bring them in. Oh, I didn't get to look at the files. Oops. Wow, that's not nice. <laughs> Greetings, Miss Kufos. I have a few questions for you if you would be so kind as to indulge me. They nod during a brief exchange with the interpreter. She greets you too. That's kind of cool that they actually have her doing like sign language. I took like one semester of sign language in college, so I assume that's correct. I don't know. I'm not like that good at it. What's your story? They shrug after a brief exchange with the interpreter. She she says there's nothing special to tell. I don't think that middle one is gonna help. Maybe not, but if you're an ordinary person, it's even more important that I understand you. There's an extensive sign language uh, discussion with the interpreter. She says that's exactly the problem, that ordinary people have been made desperate enough to throw their lot in with the front. Why, Yoga? Are you happy with your life, Helene? There's a frown during a brief exchange with the interpreter. She says she's comfortable, but that she can't be happy in a world in which the rich own the poor through capital and religion. Why, Yoga? There's a small exchange with the interpreter. She asks why you chose police work. <laughs> I'm good at it. It's my calling. There's a brief exchange with the interpreter. She says it's a shame you've chosen to use it in service of the bad guys. Alright. Let's avoid the your family for now. Like, I don't think we should be blaming even if like it is true or the case like it's not gonna get them to want to talk to us what if we turn that off right now with him there that would be crazy how did you go from a yoga trainer to recruiter there's a slight smile in exchange with the interpreter she says both guide the soul to fulfillment how would you select who you pull in there's a brief sign exchange with the interpreter she says that anyone willing to put everything on the line for society's progress was welcome. Oh, now we gotta ask who she recruited. They said she was close to Cassandra. There's a slow nod and a brief sign. Well, obviously, yes. You already know that. Who else do we care about? Gabriel, maybe? There's a head shake and brief sign. She says she doesn't know who that is. Daryl? So we can just go through all of them. No. Oh, we already said that. <sniffs> There's a disgusted frown and a, a decisive head shake. Oh. Linda Bailey. She says that she wished she did. Okay, so she doesn't like him. She likes him, her. How many people did you recruit? There's a signing exchange. She says, many dozen, most of them sleeper agents. Like, like I said before, I'm pretty sure one of our team members is a sleeper agent. I don't know which one, though. I don't know if either one of those is going to help. <laughs> Just say, oh no, because that's where they meet. I want to say that. Their eyes dot around the room. She says that yes, it's one of the best in town. Let's talk some more about your story. What does your family think? There's a brief exchange with the interpreter in sign language. She says they'll be fine. Okay. You seem to have a very positive social presence, Helene. How come you aren't close to anybody? They ponder for a second before having a more lengthy exchange with the interpreter. She says she doesn't know that she never really connected with anybody. Nature and the universe have always been her best friends. That's not very nice. Oh my gosh. I think one of these two. Maybe that. 
They smile while gesturing to the interpreter. She says that she agrees and that the day in which unity and diversity is more than a political slogan might be closer than you think. Hmm. Uh, we have two other friends of yours. Tell me about them. Oh, she's really trusting us. Yeah, there's a shrug and a brief sign comment. She says she saw Linda and Drasco were also brought in. Will you tell me about Anton? There's a shrug and signing to the interpreter. She says she doesn't know anything. Well, she said she, like, didn't like him or, like, made a disgusted face earlier. Or you can tell me about Linda Bailey. They sigh and exchange signs with the interpreter. She explains that Linda was the one in charge of their operational cell, but refused to have her sons recruited to the front. Oh, why did her Linda not want her sons recruited? There's a sigh and then signing to the interpreter. She says that if the movement fails, they can at least watch the freak show from the first row, not from behind bars. Huh. So that shows like the double standards. Just try to find out what motivates the pe these people being the liberation front. Okay, I think we're mostly good with her right now. Anton Drasco. Mm. Oh, wow, trashy for an explanation and terrorism. That's a, <laughs> a lot. Greetings, Mr. Drasco. I have a few questions for you if you'd be so kind as to indulge me. They chuckle. Indulge you? Man, that sounds like a euphemism for frauding or something. Well, it's not. <laughs> So what's your story? They flex shrugging casually. Self-made man always looking for bigger things. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as a producer, I don't know if he's going to appreciate that. He seems like he might like the, um, it's just being crass. They cross their arm defiantly. It's not bad, Captain. Not bad at all. Why pornography? They gesture with enthusiasm. I was made for porn, and porn was made for me, man. It's an art form. What does your art express? They rant gladly. Dissidents, you know? Critique on how we're progressing into a castorized society ruled by feminazis and betas. Oh my gosh. We've got an alpha bro here, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I think we should come back to that a bit. Are you happy in your life, Anton? They not. I'm living the life. Well, at least I was till you lot grabbed me. What does your family think about your arrest? They shrug dismissively. They don't know. They're old. Tell me, Anton, when was the last time in your life you had a meaningful relationship? They state confidently, Man, I don't need no shoulder to cry on. I'm okay being the master of my own fate. Friends, lover, did they know? They state confidently, Nah, man, I keep my business private. Okay. I heard that Cafe Frigue makes a wonderful espresso. Do you visit it often? They look away while shrugging. Yeah, great espresso, sure. Do you know Gabriel Adams? They ponder for a few seconds. Adams, Adams. Hmm, don't know. Don't think so. I've got all sorts of guys, and I don't know all their official names. But you do. I'll catch ya. Why does Liberation Front do these things? They grin deflecting. You're the specialist, shouldn't you know? Do you know what I respect about the Liberation Front? Sure, man, go ahead. Probably this one. What I respect about the Liberation Front is how you want to achieve a world in which nobody is allowed to be more powerful than another. They shake their head. That sounds like a nightmare, man. Lol, but no. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Isn't killing innocents wrong to you? They shrug and lower their voice. As I always say, big men gotta make calls of life and death. Wow. Gotta be an alpha, bro. Let's talk about the explosive materials you delivered. They ask in a demanding tone. What more do you want to know about them? Where'd you get them from? They chuckle. I have my sources. What would you like to know? Okay, they're very close off. Let's talk more about this life story of yours. They shrug. Sure, I love talking about my story. You taking notes? Okay, I think we need more information to get him to open up. What kind of sicko are you, Bailey? Wow. Okay, greetings, Miss Bailey. I have a few questions for you if you'd be so kind as to indulge me. They nod. Please go ahead. What's your story? They state blankly, just a mother that cares for her children. 
and it's killing thousands of innocents key to being a mama bear. They sigh and just shake their head. Who's taking care of your kids now that you're in jail? They nod and smile. My parents, I am certain that they will do a great job. They are so loving. <sighs> Did they know you're involved with the front? They sigh and nod. No, they're too young to understand, but it was all for them. Why do you say your involvement with the front was for your kids' sake? They explain slowly. Well, I want to ensure that they can live in a world in which they have control over their own lives. Okay. Are you happy in your life, Linda? They sigh and shrug. I was, yes. My family makes me happy. I wonder what makes you happy. I was? Well, why'd you give it up? Wow. I find joy in my work and the good that I can do. They answer after a brief pause. I guess that's nice, darling. Mm. Let's talk about your kids. What were their names? Did you say what were their names? They're still her kids. They stay calmly. George, Robert, and Ulysses. My husband always thought it would be good. It would bear good luck to name them after great men. What age are they? They say clearly George is 15, Robert is 12, and Ulysses is 7. All healthy and happy. What is George like? George is a rather is a rather shy boy, and I think he spends a bit too much time playing computer games. I just hope his new girlfriend of his gets him out of the house more. Since he stopped doing karate, you barely see him out of his room. Okay, what is Robert like? They state with a sigh. Robert is a bit of a menace. I hope it's just the age. What is Ulysses like? They state, glowing with joy. Ulysses is a wonderful boy, smart, energetic, and with a warm heart. No mother could ever ask more from a son. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing to ask. Like, obviously she described Ulysses the most positively, but like, that might alienate us. Do they like living in the countryside? A smile is followed by a sigh. Ulysses and Robert love it. I think George will soon get to the age at which he will start to hate it, but I do not know how to solve that. Homeschooling, public school, or private school? None of them. It is important to offer a mixed education, a good public school, with some private tutoring, key extracurricular activities, and a lot of help and love at home, and also some free time to allow them to discover their true selves. Okay. What does your family think about your arrest? They sigh. They're struggling to understand. Oh, I don't know if that's going to help. We'll try and get you some time with them after this. They nod and thanks. Thank you. Why does Liberation Front do these things? They explain at length. The world has always belonged to the powerful, and that will never change. All we can do is weaken the powerful and take their control away. I heard that the Liberation Front works in pots. Were you in charge of one by any chance? Oh, I did have a small role, but nothing major. Don't worry. If you're curious about who is in what pod, I'm afraid I was not privy to any details of the final structure. I heard that the Liberation Front pays criminals to do tasks for them. Are you certain these people have been paid enough to not talk when questioned? Oh, darling, we have that handled, don't you worry. Oh, my goodness. It's like blackmailing them or something. Why Daniel Wilson? They shrug casually. Poor thing needed help with his mother, so I tried to help. I'm trying to remember what Daniel Wilson is like. Um, yeah, I don't remember who he is. Oh, he was like the security guard, I think. In exchange, he was to help you with the bomb, then to be with his mom. She nods, like it should be. Let's talk about the explosives you make. They smile. What can I say? I like to cook. Okay. What did you send the explosives to? They shrug casually. Oh, all sorts of nice people. Who gave you your orders to make them? She ships an eyebrow and smirks. My own initiative, of course. I know you're high in the ranks, but an operation on this scale is surely above status you have at the front. They're silent for a couple of sec seconds before speaking. Lady Luck trusts me with managing my own cell. So that's like a legit person. Because uh, we saw that mentioned somewhere else too, I think. Do you know what they were used in? They nod, I do. We managed to save kids from dying in the explosions. They nod in some relief, that's good. We have two other friends, uh, of your other friends with us. They nod, Anton and Helene, yes. What can you tell me about Helene Kufos? They explain, Helene would work for us as a recruiter. She is one of the best, of my best, acquisitions. She did so well mobilizing Cassandra too. What can you tell me about Anton Drasco? They fidget a bit in shrugs. 
We don't really trust him for doing any more than deliveries. All right. Okay, we need to try and get him to open up more. We have two of your other friends here with us. What can you tell me about Helene Kufos? They shrug amused. She's got a hot petite vibe going for her. Not much else. We don't talk. What a jerk. We don't talk. Well, like, duh. She... I don't know. What can you tell me about Linda Bailey? Like, he probably... Does he even know she's deaf? They're not company. She's a good girl, does good work. Ugh, I hate that. That is so, like, smarmy. Like, she's a good girl. Let's talk some more about the motives. They grin deflecting. You're the specialist, shouldn't you know? Let's talk some more about the explosive materials you delivered. Who gave you your orders? <sighs> okay. Do you know what they're used in? They seem to be guessing one of the explosive explosions downtown. They killed dozens of innocents. They sign truck. Hey man, that really sucks, but we can't let white America die quietly. Maybe that, I don't know. They shrug and smell good for you, Chief, but you didn't get all of them. He's just a, a kind of scummy person. Do you know how they were made? They chuckle. Sure I do, but I'm not saying. Get my pornography. Made porn for what porn is me. Blah, blah, blah. It's an art form. Let's talk about the scandals that happened in your studio. I forgot about that. That that was an option. Sure, I can talk about them all day. Okay, I guess we don't get an option to actually talk about them. Just mention that it happened. What does your family think about your rest? They don't know they're old. No worry, I remember. Okay, I don't know. And then Drasco. She says that if the movement fails, they can at least watch the freak show from the first row, not from behind bars. Okay, yeah, we already knew that. Or can you tell me about Hatan? She says she doesn't know anything. Maybe you should just straight up ask him. They grin, shrugging. Can't tell you, chief. Drasco, look. It's obvious you weren't, <laughs> you weren't, uh, you weren't the, uh, high up for the organization, as others have told me. I can get you a deal. Just give me something worthwhile. They seem angry. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, if ever I was gonna like be brutal about some person, it'd be this guy. But <sighs> we gotta try and rise above. So you don't know Gabriel Adams? No, I don't know any Adams. Talk more about the ladies. I mean, he is super closed off. <sighs> Talk more about your friends. Anton. Celebration Friends next move. She says she really doesn't know, and that maybe you should ask Linda. What's their next move? They grant freedom from the powerful. That's always the next move. No kings, no destinies. Okay, so we got nothing. They seem slightly confused. Yeah, well, um, that's what they've been instructed to do. Give you your orders. They hesitate. I mostly kind of do my own thing. Uh. Same one we said before. Yeah, well, um, that's what they've been instructed to do. So now you're used in. Well, it did job from what you just told me. Okay, where'd you get them from? They stiffen and shake their head. I got my people, and you gain any names from me. Man, I don't know. But I still sneak in cool ideas. I don't care about the money. He opened up some about that. <laughs> now lay off me, I don't know about chemistry. So you don't know how to make the explosives, you don't know what the operation was, you just delivered like a delivery boy. Hey, a few, I'm key to this whole operation. Seem angry. Blah, blah, blah. Man, I feel like we're just talking in circles. Seems slightly confused. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I mean, I guess we gotta press them more, right? Talk more about your story. I, mean, I guess we could be like... Ugh, they stay with a smile in some ways, yes. In other ways, no. I guess it is hard to describe. Okay, great. So that didn't do anything. <laughs> Try Daniel Wilson. Poor thing needed help with his mother, so I tried to help. Not that. I wanted to say about the explosive. I like to cook. We gave you your orders. 
own initiative, of course. Who'd you send them to? Oh, all sorts of nice people. Talk more about your story. So, Helene, how does it make you feel to know that Anton is just as lonely as you? They look down. She says that it makes her sad, but what she did not expect but that she did not expect anything else. The void in his heart is too absolute. So wait, did they have a relationship? She said she didn't know anything about him, so is she lying? Okay, so we can't bring anything up with that, I guess. Okay, here we go. Why haven't you done more for the front like you wanted to, Anton? They flex and raise their voice. Time, man. Like, I've done plenty. It's just that I would have liked to get the chance to do more. I can justify all the suffering you've caused. There's a frown and an exchange in sign language with the interpreter. She says she has a hard time sleeping after that. They have a brief exchange with the interpreter. She says that indeed it was a factor. Linda and Drasco. Okay, I don't know. So you know Gabriel Adams, and I don't know any Adams. Are you happy in your life? They nod, I'm living life well, at least it was until you grabbed me. Okay, look man, I get it, you have been told. Good for you, look at the people going there. They are little fish, okay? No need to worry about them. Wait, you're a little fish. Okay, are you happy in your life? Get my pornography. I don't know. Oh, we have the option to, um... How do we make them more comfortable? Said we could, like, pull out alcohol or whatever. Because that isn't something we could do? I don't know. Ah, here we go. Yeah, man. Awesome. Now <laughs> you've got one. We could just get him drunk. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you happy in your life? World's eroding, man. Weakness is the new power. The dumb and the crippled are kings. Women are told to be bad. The world needs to reward those with merit again. He sucks. As I always say, big men gotta make calls of life and death. <laughs> He's just so insecure. Isn't that hard? Some of the stuff you find in DOI stores, the rest I got off the dark web and through some connections. Nothing nature there. Get used in. Not leave me off me. I don't know anything about chemistry. Man, I guess you have until my pornography. Any artist must have their art of choice. You wouldn't understand. He's the hardest one to talk to right now. Oh, I don't know any atoms. What if we just keep asking him? Okay, finally. They sigh and shake their head before explaining. There's a there's this other big bombing coming today, like, at a factory. Factory are you targeting? The grand haha, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? A factory are targeting. There's a smile and a shrug before a sign exchange with the interpreter. She says she's glad to hear the news that the means of production are being liberated and that maybe you should ask Linda. What factory are you targeting? They seem impressed and on. All traces of fear seem to fade away. Oh, you found that out, huh? Good job. It's going off very, very soon. Your leadership close to Lady Luck. You'll know what happened. What's the plan? They shrug. The plan is to make a change, honey. Let's talk about your kids. Just try and find out what motivates these people to be in Liberation Front. We already know! How you got her into trouble. There we go. The interpreter answers after a short exchange. She asks what else you want to know. What did you teach Cassandra to do in case she got caught? There's a sigh and a brief sign exchange with the interpreter. She says that she just taught her to be a reasonable human being that tries to defend our future. Oh, okay, there we go. You know, though, that Cassandra Roke is the one who gave you up to us, don't you? They blink in disbelief and disappointment. She's facing life in jail. There are a few seconds of thought and signing during the exchange with the interpreter. She says that's what you think. <laughs> the military industrial complex will victimize her, have her guilt in a present incident. Uh huh. Well, this puts it back on her, but I don't know if it's gonna help. Sign a brief exchange with the interpreter. She says that's true. She says, You clearly don't understand what real privilege is. Being a white lady puts you in a place of privilege, whether you like it or not. 
just because of how our world is right now. I mean, it sucks and it shouldn't be that way, but it's foolish, I think, to not acknowledge that there's a lot of stuff that shouldn't be happening that is. She's, that is indeed a true shame. Mm, I don't know. She says that no, she is only disappointed in her. <laughs> you found that out, huh? Good job. It's going off very, very soon. Where is it supposed to take place? Smile, I think you're smart enough to understand that I have no reason to disclose that to someone I can't trust. <sighs> it's my way. Do you really? I'm glad you see things this way. Will that be an unrealistic, even undesirable? Dang it. So we're gonna have to like restart it. Um, I don't wanna have to do it from the very beginning. Oh my gosh. Ugh. We have to do it from the beginning. Oh my gosh. Okay. I asked, isn't killing innocents wrong to you? There's a shrug and a look down. She says they were consumers who bankrolled the rotten order that we live in. Playing the social rules, patriarchy. Oh, okay, sorry. Playing the social rules, patriarch, real. I can't say it right now. Religions have given us that they're barely a loss. She says dissolving all the power structures, capital, authority, religion, gender, and social roles. You know what I respect about them? Okay, so I'm gonna introduce myself to him this time. I said, you make a good living, Mr. Drasco. Why risk your successful business by associating with terrorists? They explain proudly. Yeah, I make good paper, but you gotta change the world. That's where it's at. So what's your story? Now probably you know it. Glad you watched my stuff. Are happy in your life. They nod. I'm living life. Well, at least I was till you like grab me. Why pornography? They just with enthusiasm. It's made for porn and porn is made for me, man. It's an art form. Mr. Art Express. They rant gladly. Dissidents, you know, critique on how we're progressing into a castrated society ruled by feminazis and betas. Ooh, okay, cool. We didn't have that option last time to try and use their ideologies against them. You know, Kufo says your whole thing about preventing the change of social rules is crap and not what the Liberation Front is really about. Oh wait, them too, okay. They're breaking anchor. Oh yeah, Psh, what does she know? She's nothing, unlike me. <laughs> the people in this organi organization obviously have no respect for your outlook on things. Tell me what the next move is and I'll try and get you a good deal with the prosecutor. They break with exasperation. Fine, fine, fuck. <laughs> Fine, fine, F them. Fine, look, a big bombing's coming up today at some factory. That's all I know. Okay, it seems Linda Bailey is the leader of three and that the front is targeting the factory. It's time to confront her. Noise. Already found out about that, huh? Good job. It's going off very, very soon. Just shrug the planes to make a change, honey. Do you really? I'm glad you see things this way. No hints available at this time. Wow. Anton and Helene seem like very different people. How do you keep them working together? They smile mischievously. Well, to be honest, by making sure they have no time to discuss their naive outlooks on life and society. That's... Fun. You know, Drasco says your whole thing about changing social roles is crap and not what the Liberation Front is about. Throw eyes and sign to the interpreter. She says Drasco is a bottom level delivery boy and is talking out of his butt. So you don't know how they blah blah blah, you're just a little worried. They're in the sample approach. Hey, if you I'm, I'm key to this whole operation. Blah 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 blah. Must kinda of do my own thing, uh Oh my gosh. Okay guys, it's a new day, um it's been a couple days. I was kind of avoiding coming back to this one because I wasn't looking forward to finally or like attempting to beat this again because it's pretty long and I don't know it stumped me last time so we'll try it again. Hopefully it goes better we get it this time. Okay so I got it to the point where it says um Linda Bailey is the leader of the three and that the front is targeting a factory. It's time to confront her. Um, this is like the first time I've clicked on her, so we 
kind of need to get all the other information out of the way before we do that because I don't want to waste all our time getting all the background info that we'll probably need. Okay, so this is interesting. I think we haven't had this option before to say this. Um, so we can say, you're close to leadership, Melinda. Are they after the same things as you? Because almost every front member I talk to thinks the objective is different. They smile and nod. But that's just how we work. We don't have to agree on the end outcome. Just that we want to stop what is happening now. Okay, but you want the powerful to lose their control. What if the Liberation Front leaders are using all these people to become the new powerful? They seem thoughtful for a while. Huh, I guess that could be the case. Okay, you should use all the things you've learned about the Front and try to convince Linda that she can share the next target with you. Okay. Okay, now we have a timeline. You seem impressed or not. All traces of fear seem to fade away. Oh, you found that out, huh? Good job. It's going off very, very soon. Okay, I understand that the common goal is bigger than individual ideology. Ideology is just a distraction that we must get over. They not deeply really, then you understand what we're doing. I don't know if she's gonna go for it. Your leadership close to Lady Luck, you know what'll happen. What's the plan? They struck the plan is to make a change, honey. Come on, I want to know how this book show might ever be stopped. We need to take back control over our lives. They smile widely. Do you really? I'm glad you see things this way. Anton and Helen seem like very different people. How do you keep them working together? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, we said, let me see the freak show fireworks. In the end, we will strike back against ourselves. They grin enthusiastically. All right, 25% road south of town. It's a weapons plant, and it'll blow up spectacularly. And that was the shortest one I've had in attempting this mission so far. <laughs> Interrogation successful. We have to scramble. Three individuals suspected of having deep ties with the Liberation Front have today been arrested. All of them confessed to being involved with the various terror cells that initiated the bomb attacks. Anton Drasko, a young adult movie director, <laughs> uh, we could just say a porn director, with a track record of... Woo. So we gotta pick one of these? I don't know which is true, if they're all true or what. So I don't I don't know what the truth is here. Okay, it was found to have used his studio as a front to deliver explosives to various Liberation Front members, including Gabriel Adams. <sighs> In the basement of Linda Bailey, raw materials and chemicals were used to manufacture the explosive ordnance of the same type and caliber <coughs> that is used by the Liberation Front. A widow and a single mother. Her tutelage has been revoked, and her children have been placed in foster care. Her children were unaware of her mother's their criminals. Uh, she forced her children to turn her. So that's not true, though. So we can't say that. Man, I don't see why they would need to go to foster care. Like they're with their grandparents. Um, you say her children were unaware of their mother's criminal activities. Helene Kufos has been linked to convicted terrorist Cassandra Higgs, and she confessed to. Some others. Sorry, recruiting. All these confessions are the result of diligent investigative efforts and the cooperation of the general public. Diligent. Let's go with that. Uh, I think we need the morale more on our team and bring us much closer to. Let's do this finding out what the front's next target is. Ready for another attack. We need to treat this as a cold, hard fact. Go get to it now. Identify where the factory is exactly. Evacuate the place urgently. Go, go, go. So wait, we wrote the press release before we went to the factory? Okay, this is how I'm spending everything. Um, we still need to give some of these people jobs to do. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Moses. Consult Professor Lavina Olaro, who teaches university courses on political ideology and radicalization by the Liberation Front. Yeah, we'll go have her do that. And then, um, his highest chances track murder weapon or volunteer in another department. Oh, wait, no. I consult with the lady. So I guess go try that, see if you get it or not. And then theirs is low for everything. Now I guess attempt to do that. Wow. Okay. So two of them failed. Two of them passed. So we've tracked her down again and we can have another sit down. Apparently things were filed with the wrong numbers, therefore most of the work was useless, we have to refile. The track's cold, we weren't able to find the gun's origin, we could keep trying. Professor Olaro has agreed to come in and speak to you. Um, oh, and everything went up. Cool. I think I'm probably going to end it there for now. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.